Hey, it's Michael. Welcome to my channel. I've taken a couple of weeks to think about AT&T's $43 billion deal to merge Warner Media with Discovery. And after reading dozens of news articles like the one I just showed you and listening to an hour-long investor call, I'm going to share with you what I've learned and more importantly, what I still need to learn in the months ahead. So in today's video, I'm going to cover three main questions. One, why are these companies merging? Two, what will it mean for cord cutters? And three, will this help or hurt the cable TV bundle? And before I dive into that first question, here are the basics. The new name of the company will be Warner Brothers Discovery, and here is the logo that was recently unveiled. It will be led by David Zaslav, the current head of Discovery. The deal must be approved by regulators. It is not expected to close until the middle of 2022. And the merger announcement in May of 2021, it caught a lot of people by surprise. So let's start with that first question. Why are these companies merging? And to answer that question, I'm going to share with you three quotes. They are all from David Zaslav the day the merger deal was announced from an investor call. Let's start with the first quote. And he says, the assets of Warner Media and Discovery are better together and in fact could create the best global media company in the world. Later, he said this, the goal of the combined company is to get 200 million, maybe 300 million subscribers. And even later in the call, he said 400 million. And just one more quote to set the table. Here, Zaslav says, you have to have content that people love so much that they'll run home and pay for it before they pay for dinner. So that is a lot to take in. But when you put it all together, it sounds like Warner Brothers Discovery is betting that these two companies together, Warner Media and Discovery, will help them become a mega service, kind of what Netflix has already achieved, not just in the US, but around the world. And in many ways, Warner Media and Discovery content complements each other. Take a look at some of the assets from the two companies. They include HBO Max, Discovery Plus, and then dozens of cable TV networks. In the United States, Discovery Plus does one thing really well, and that is nonfiction. Meanwhile, Warner Media, which is a lot bigger, its strength is in scripted films and TV shows, but it also has an international news operation with CNN, as well as Turner Sports, which has rights deals with NBA, MLB, NHL, and NCAA. To put it simply, Warner Media and Discovery believe that together they can own more categories from scripted to reality, news, sports, and the rest. Next up, what will it mean for cord cutters? This is the question that I've gotten a few times, but I have to say it's impossible to answer at this point. There are just too many unknowns, but there are some clues from David Zaslav. Here is another quote from that May 2021 investor call. Talking about the direct-to-consumer offering, he says big, loud films that act as beacons to bring viewers in, and then a deep and wide offering of genres, verticals, and formats to keep consumers engaged and nourished on the platform. And at another point on the call, he said something similar and seemed to suggest that you use the scripted films and TV series with the big Hollywood stars. Those are used to bring people in and get them to subscribe to the service. And then you have all this other content, the stuff that people like to binge watch, like reality shows Discovery is known for, and that is what keeps them subscribing. So how does this all look and what does it cost us as consumers? That's the part that we have to just wait and see but there are a couple of different pathways. You could have a single mega service with all HBO Max and Discovery Plus content, plus add-ons for live news and sports content. Or option two would be simply to bundle the existing HBO Max and Discovery Plus services. Now to compete, Warner Brothers Discovery is gonna have to be really mindful of its price point. Right now, if you combine the ad-free versions of HBO Max and Discovery Plus, you would pay almost $22 a month. And do the same with the ad-supported plans, it's $15 a month. Either way, that is more expensive than Netflix Standard or the Disney Bundle. Those are priced separately at $13.99 a month. Now, if Warner Brothers Discovery takes that bundle approach and offers the option to combine your HBO Max and Discovery Plus, I do think it's likely you would get a reduced price. And very likely, in fact, when we're talking about the ad-supported plans, here's why. Discovery Plus currently has two plans, $4.99 a month for ad-supported and $6.99 a month for ad-free. But during the investor call, 
David Zaslav revealed that the ad-supported plan is really good for Discovery Plus's bottom line. The subscription, $5 a month, but ad revenue is $6 a month. So Discovery Plus makes $11 a month per subscriber. And that $11 a month is 50% more than Discovery makes per cable subscriber. We don't have any numbers to compare with HBO Max just yet because it just launched its ad-supported plan the day of this recording. It is $9.99 a month instead of $14.99 a month. So you know over the next few months, executives are going to take a real close look at that new HBO Max plan, not only how many subscribers it gets, but the ad revenue and all that will be taken into account before bundling any future service with Warner Brothers Discovery. And moving on to will this help or hurt the cable TV bundle? Now the majority of the May 2021 investor call and reporting since then, it's focused on streaming, but pay TV, the linear bundle, it did get a mention from David Zaslav, and I'm gonna share a little bit of that with you now. He said the new company will not only be able to enhance its programming depth across the legacy linear pay TV and broadcast channels, but also will accelerate and assure its place as a fully scaled and differentiated global streaming platform. So pay TV gets a mention, but in the same sentence, streaming is mentioned too. And later on, Zaslav responded to a question and about the merger, he said this, I'm gonna look down and read it to you. It gives us a chance to be a great partner to distributors who have a real focus on keeping that bundle going. And when he says distributors, he's meaning the cable, satellite, and live TV streaming services which offer those cable networks. My concern comes when negotiations with those distributors take place. For example, Philo is a low cost live TV streaming service and it doesn't offer major news and sports networks. It does have a lot of entertainment networks though, including discovery owned channels. But my question is this, will it be forced to add all of Warner Media Networks like TBS, TNT, and CNN to the rest of its bundle? Because if it had to, you know the price would go up. Most people would like to pick and choose the cable networks they have, but the reason we can't is because of the media companies. They say if you want these five channels, then you've got to have these five channels in your bundle too and pay for them all. I also thought about Fubo TV. It dropped the Warner Media Networks back in 2020 when it added ESPN to its channel lineup. And like Philo, it currently carries Discovery-owned networks. So again, will it have to add the Warner Media Networks back at some point and raise its prices again? That's what I'm thinking about. Although Warner Media and Discovery do not own a broadcast TV network, they are key parts of the pay TV bundle separately. And as one person on the investor call said together, it could be the super glue of the pay TV bundle. So that just has me wondering if that could lead to excessive affiliate fee increases. And if that happens, you're just going to see people running away from live TV services even faster and switching to on-demand streaming for a lower monthly bill. So thanks for watching today's video. Keep watching for my reviews of HBO Max and Discovery Plus. And let me know what you think about the merger in the comments below. See you next time.